All right, Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites coming out here week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of America. And to let the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know that y'all are the true Israelites according to the Bible. Not those Jew rats over in the land of Israel proclaiming to be Israel. Okay? Let the so-called white man know that his kingdom is going down. Our America is circling the drain. Okay? Give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Double honors to our elders at Great Millstone. The blessed to you brothers doing this work is sincere. Right. Baruch chapter 2 verse 27. O Lord our power, thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness. Right. Right. And according to all that great mercy of thine. And going into the book of Baruch, start from the top. Wait, uh, we'll start from the top real quick. Uh, just, 101? Just to get who it is. Two. We need to get who it is. Okay. Yeah, Baruch right. chapter 1 verse 1. And these are the words of the book which Baruch, the son of Nerias, the son of Maasias, the son of Sedacius, son of... Uh, uh, That's two and one? Oh, two and you. You want two and one? Two and one. Oh, fuck. Baruch two and one. Uh, Therefore the Lord have made good on his word, which he pronounced against us and against our judges that just Israel and against our kings, and against our princes, and against the men of Israel and Judea, to bring, up, to bring upon us great plagues, such as never happened under the whole heaven, as it came to pass in Jerusalem, according to the things that were written in the law of Moses. Okay, that's just to, just to get the gist of it, this, this book is talking about Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, we'll jump down to 20, back to 27. Verse 27, O Lord our power, Thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness, and according to all that great mercy of thine. As thou spakest by, the, by thy servant Moses, in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye, do, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations right. where I will scatter them. Right. We've been scattered. Israel, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The Lord, that, that's the curses the Lord put upon us. If we don't, if we obey, disobey His word. He's going to place curses upon us and scatter us throughout the four corners of the earth where all the heathen dwell. Right now, we, we dwell amongst heathen. This this kingdom is ran by the so-called white man. This is a heathenistic country. Okay, go ahead. Read, read that again. That last part. Okay, and uh, us being scattered across the four corners of the earth shows what that it's not just about black people type of thing you know because if we're scattered across the four corners of the earth then that means what we, we look like other nations you know what i'm saying uh could, could y'all give me give me that in acts real quick no, i can't uh, give it back to you brother give it to me on that act about the pentecost you know because we were scattered across the four corners of the earth that that should explain the gentile thing that should explain that you know, Israelites going to come out looking, looking like other nations. You know, we speak their language, take on their customs. What you think we do over there? We, we, we retain our uh, our looks and our language. We speak English to this day, just like you got Mexicans that speak English. You know what I'm saying? Speak Spanish. You know, they also speak, speak Spanish, but they came over here with that. But if they were to, if a, if a Spanish person go to China. And he raised his family, three generations of family up in China. Eventually, they're going to speak English or Chinese. All right, you got that? Acts chapter 2, verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. Jews. There were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. All right, go ahead. Devout men out of every nation under heaven. Out of out of every nation. All right, Jews are the, with their base saying, Benjamin, Judah, and Levi. Because in that time... The other, the other, uh, the Latin, the Latin tribes, all right, they already left, all right. So Benjamin, Judah, and Levi were considered Jews, basically the king of the south, which is Judah, all right. Devout men out of out of every nation. So what that means, there were Benjamin, Judah, and Levites, Benjamin, Judah, and Levites coming out of every nation, all right. They stayed in these countries, all right, and it's going to name them. Go ahead. Now when, when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together were, and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. 
Yep, because that's where the speaking in tongues come from. All right, because these men stayed in all these lands. Go ahead. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue where we were born? Parthenians and Medes and Elamites. Parthenians, Medes, Elamites, and Jews, devout men from out of these nations. Go ahead. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia and Pontus in Asia, uh, Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about, about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. Yep. And and uh, what 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 the, uh, Pente or the, the Pentecost? Where everybody comes together, right? Uh, Penta, uh, what it means, uh, 50, yeah, 50, all right, Pentecost, it's, it's just basically, you know, like a pentagram, basically them, uh, uh, the Israelites come together, and only feast. I believe it's like 50 days after the Passover. Come. Yeah, come, come, good point. All right, good, good fact. Uh, verse 11, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of the Most High. Yeah. They were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What mean is this? Others not said, These men are full of new wine. Yep, so now I'm going to bring out this other point to show that we were scattered and we're going to get back to the root. Because that's why you can't sit here and say it's about black people. You know what I'm saying? And you have to go off the spirit. Because a lot of people saying that the Latins are Chinese or whatever bullshit y'all coming up with. But here it is. We ain't, we ain't been around these fucking Africans for years, all right? They come over here in America, and we have nothing in common, all right? Nothing in common. Here it is. We ain't been around, you know, Mexicans like that, or we ain't been around Brazilians like that, or, or people from Chile like that, or you can go to to Israelite from all across the, on the other side of the earth, but we our our uh, character is a lot in common. You know what I'm saying? But I, that shows. If we got more in common with Mexicans than Africans, something is wrong. You can go to Mexico and, and chill out, have a good time. You go to Africa, you just try, you trying your best to fit in, wearing the damn daishiki and a kufi and shit, you know, and thinking you had a, 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 a Mecca experience. It was different, so different, because it's not true. All right? Now we're going to read this. It says, uh, Acts 11 and 19. It says, now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution, right, that arose about Stephen, traveled as far as Venice and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Yahweh Shai, and they were speaking unto the Grecians. And then in the verse before that, it said they spoke to none but the Jews only. So what that tells you, that Grecians are Jews. You know, it's just Grecians are Greek-speaking Jews. That's it. All right? You got to use your context clues, man. Yep. That's, that's it. 